In this module, we'll be looking at reviewing your course, and this is the module overview. When we're designing or when we're renewing our courses, we go through a series of phases, and this is like an ongoing process of course enhancement. It's a cycle. So once we've done some analysis, we actually go through the process of designing, developing the various aspects of our course, we then implement those, and then as we're going through the implementation, we're evaluating it, we do the final evaluation um, of the various aspects of our course and our teaching team practices, and then we go into the review phase, and that's, this is what this module is all about, is that review. So in this module, you'll actually have the opportunity to reflect on course-related evaluation data that come from multiple uh, sources. So this is the data you would have collected in the last um, module. You'll also be given the opportunity to make some decisions about future actions regarding learning and teaching practices and your teaching team practices in your course. So it's these two things that we're pulling together to really take stock of what, what has gone on in your course and looking at your evaluation data that's coming from those multiple sources and then really reflect on it, do a critical reflection and then move on with well, what are the action steps now regarding this and, and making improvements to the course. So within the module, we actually give you a bit of a template that you can start framing up some ideas around your course review. It's been presented as a course review and enhancement flowchart, and it takes you through considering the various elements of your course evaluation data. What does, it, what does all that mean? Um, what are the assumptions that you're making? And maybe going back to the last module where you actually um, had a look at the ladder of inference because really your assumptions underlying your interpretations of data really have an impact on what conclusions you're drawing and also what actions you then take um, based on those conclusions. So it, this also gets you, to, the flowchart also gets you to consider as well, what are the recommendations that you would make for redesigning your course? And this is the last part of the module. So really, this flowchart provides you a template with the application of an action inquiry in your context. You can use it then to document key recommendations um, that come from your analysis of your data. It actually leads to a proactive intent or, or an action plan for improving and enhancing your course, and not only just your course, but also your reflecting on your teaching team practices as well. And then lastly, these enhancements are intended to really help you to make positive inroads with your students' learning um, and also um, their achievements, uh, looking at their experiences, and for you personally and for your team to enhance the capabilities around learning and teaching. So enjoy the module. <laughs>